Well, right now, a local movie buff is facing misdemeanor charges for staging yet another protest to save a dilapidated Salt Lake City theater. We're going to go out to Fox 13. Scott McCain, he joins us live in downtown Salt Lake with more on Michael Valentine. Good morning, Scott. What happened? Well, good morning, guys. And I guess, uh, you know, if at first you don't succeed, keep trying. And at some point, maybe uh, take your protest, stage it, and stream it live on social media. Now, I think we all reported on the fact that uh, Mr. Valentine uh, first started a hunger strike last month, then chained himself to the old Pantages Theater here in downtown Salt Lake. Well, last night, he and some of his fellow protesters uh, decided to change things up a little bit. Check that out. Woo! Giant, giant skylight. <laughs> yeah, they got inside the building. Now, Valentine and, again, his fellow protesters, they're trying to get city officials or anyone who will listen to them to help them save this old theater. Again, they got inside the old Pantages last night and filmed their latest protest, streaming it live on social media. This is the people's Pantages. It belongs to all of us. Uh, this is civil disobedience here. Come on down. Uh, you you wouldn't, won't be lonely. There's lots of people here. They're seeing how amazing it is. They were inside the theater when officers arrived on scene. They were asked to leave. Um, everyone left pretty peacefully except for one person and he was arrested for a criminal trespass and that would be mr valentine now all along he claims city officials have not been totally honest about their uh, ability to potentially rescue the pantages but in a prior statement mayor aaron mendenhall said look this would cost tens of millions of dollars to make it not only structurally sound then to have it remodeled and ready for patrons to come inside and you know, the mayor adds that that money should, could, and likely will be better spent on things like affordable housing and providing additional shelters for Salt Lake's growing homeless population. For now, we're live in Salt Lake City. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.